So things have started to get serious for Dogecoin and other cryptos. And in this video, I'm going to talk about where we are headed from here. So we are now seeing that the crypto market has been on the downside during the last 24 hours. And as a result, the crypto market cap and the total crypto trading volume have fallen down. And we can see here that from Bitcoin and Ethereum to Dogecoin and Cardano, almost all cryptos are trading in the red after having a good run during the last week. Moreover, we can see here that the Crypto Fear and Greed Index has also fallen during the last 24 hours. And this means that the overall market sentiment has again turned into fear. And it appears that we might see more fear among investors in the coming days. This is because there are some concerns in both traditional and crypto markets regarding the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine. In fact, we are now seeing that Wall Street stocks ended sharply lower in the last 24 hours as investors fretted about deepening tensions between Russia and Ukraine. And since we know that the crypto market is now closely correlated with the stock markets, we are now seeing a lot of fear among the crypto investors as well. So this fear among investors has caused Bitcoin to witness a slight dip. And Bitcoin's dip has been followed by the altcoins as well. Meanwhile, it appears that Bitcoin may dip more from here since it is now expected to retest the 40k region in the coming days. And if this fear among investors remained, then Bitcoin may actually drop towards this price level. However, we are still seeing some data that this ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine may not adversely affect Bitcoin and other cryptos. So crypto analyst Matthew Hyland has just indicated that the last time Russia and Ukraine were involved in a conflict, it didn't affect Bitcoin's price that much. And we can actually see here on this chart that Bitcoin witnessed a slight drop back then. So we can hope that Bitcoin and the broader market will remain unaffected this time as well. In fact, crypto analyst Plan C is also believing that this conflict is not going to hamper the prices of Bitcoin and others. However, I still think that some market makers will try to spread FUD in the market, and they will try to manipulate crypto prices in order to get some gains themselves. And Plan C is saying that he still hasn't changed any of his bullish the C's for Bitcoin, even though Twitter sentiment right now is horrible. And he is advising holders not to follow all this news that is spreading FUD in the market. And he believes that following the same news sources and narratives that everyone else is hyper-focused on does not give you an edge in the market. And the reason why holders should not be worried about such news is that there are still some bullish things happening for Bitcoin. So analyst Jan Wustenfeld has just indicated an interesting pattern of correlation between Bitcoin's price and the United States 10-year bond yield rates. And we can see here that typically, in a bullish rally, Bitcoin closely followed the bond yield rates indicator. And although in December 2021, this correlation vanished after Bitcoin touched its local bottom around 33k, both metrics got back to surging. So it looks like Bitcoin might be finally catching up with rising yields. And another important thing to note here is that investors have been withdrawing their Bitcoin from crypto exchanges, leaving only 10.8% of the circulating supply there. And as per sentiment, as Bitcoin is getting moved off trading platforms, the risks of any big sell-off now become lower. So this is a very bullish indicator for Bitcoin. And while the price of Bitcoin is trading on the downside, the good thing is that Bitcoin has still managed to make some bullish moves. And as per crypto analyst Phoenix, the 100 EMA of Bitcoin is about to cross over the 200 EMA on the 4-hour chart. And this is bullish for Bitcoin because if it happens, Bitcoin will be in full bull mode again. More importantly, this only happened twice in July. And when it happened, Bitcoin moved to the upside. And according to data from CryptoQuant, most of Bitcoin's major indicators in the last seven days have been neutral. The technical oscillators like the RSI, moving average, average directional index, and the commodity channel index have all seemed neutral. Similarly, Bitcoin's market sentiment has also been largely neutral in the past week. So this overall neutral value indicates that Bitcoin is neither being overbought or oversold. And I think this is a positive thing for Bitcoin since holders are not getting involved in the FUD. Meanwhile, crypto analyst CryptoEd has highlighted that Bitcoin's current price is in a profit-taking zone. So it means that investors are currently accumulating more and more Bitcoin amid this recent drop in its price. And CryptoEd thinks that this is a bullish scenario for Bitcoin.
and it is indicating a bounce to 48k and we are now seeing that large bitcoin whales have accumulated an astounding 220,000 coins over the last seven weeks valued at over 9.6 billion dollars and according to sentiment bitcoin addresses with a balance of 1000 bitcoin or more have been adding coins since december 23 and they accumulated more than one percent of bitcoin's total supply in less than two months and the most important thing is that this is the most rapid accumulation seen since September 2019. So it is clear that whales have turned bullish on Bitcoin like never before. And now, it appears that there is going to be a rise in institution adoption of Bitcoin as well. And as per investor Bill Miller, we are going to see a lot of adoption for Bitcoin among foundations and institutions this year. So the point is that while individual investors are also buying Bitcoin, institutions are also going to jump on the bandwagon. And one of the most bullish things about Bitcoin is that Tesla is still holding a huge amount of Bitcoin. And at the end of the year in 2021, Tesla's Bitcoin holdings were valued around $1.9 billion. And the good thing is that it is up from the company's initial investment of $1.5 billion in the first three months of 2021. So this means that Tesla is also bullish on Bitcoin in the long term. And this is a pretty amazing thing for Bitcoin. And another important thing is that crypto analyst Willy Wu believes that Bitcoin's market cap will likely skyrocket to $20 trillion if authorities handle its regulation properly. However, he believes that there are a lot of unknowns right now, and Bitcoin's price trajectory in the coming years would be dependent on how things play out on the regulatory landscape. And if things work out well, Bitcoin's market cap could rise to $20 trillion over the next one to two decades. And now let's come to Dogecoin for a minute. So Dogecoin has been trading on the downside during the last 24 hours. However, data from WhaleStat shows that the top 1,000 accounts on the Binance Smart Chain account hold more than $50 million in Doge. So such acquisitions are usually considered bullish and predict a price rally. Moreover, the 24-hour candlestick chart for Dogecoin price analysis shows stronger technical indicators than what one would suspect while looking at the current price trend. So Doge currently sits below the 20-day exponential moving average but poses a relative strength index of 43.9, which indicates positive market valuation. Moreover, the MACD of Doge also sits above its neutral zone to enhance a positive outlook for it amid this recent drop. And according to data intelligence platform Into the Block, the profitability rate for Doge sits above 52%. So this could prove to be decisive in buyers successfully pushing an uptrend. And this is exactly why I'm pretty bullish on Dogecoin in the long term. In any case, I'd like to remind you here that this is no financial advice since I'm not a professional financial advisor. I'm just expressing my opinion here so it is recommended that you do your own research before investing in cryptos. And now, let's see some important updates, showing us that crypto adoption is steadily increasing. So billionaire Bill Ackman has urged the mayor of New York Eric Adams to ease up some crypto rules in order to let the cryptos grow. And he believes that crypto innovation should be the top priority. And this is important news because we know that Eric Adams is already having a crypto-friendly approach. So it is highly likely that he and other lawmakers will work on making New York a crypto-friendly city. And now coming to the next update, it appears that cryptos are going to grow in Canada in the coming years. And we are now seeing that Canadian Parliament member Michelle Rimpel Garner introduced a bill in the Parliament to encourage the growth of the crypto sector. He believes that Canada should be attracting billions of dollars in investment in the fast-growing crypto industry. So this is bullish news because if Canada adopts such policies, then it will inspire other countries to follow suit. And now, we are seeing that crypto exchange Binance is going to invest about $200 billion in Forbes magazine. And this is important news because Binance is not only doing it to promote crypto awareness, it is also making itself a more legitimate firm. We know that Binance has been facing some regulatory issues, and such investments are going to help it come out of these issues. And since cryptos like Doge and Bitcoin are mostly traded on Binance, regulatory ease for it is beneficial for these cryptos. And as per a recent report, there are now high expectations within institutions for wide-scale adoption of cryptos. This is because more and more companies are exploring the crypto and blockchain space, 
From crypto payments to cryptos as investment assets, major firms are now showing great interest in cryptos. And this is why it is expected that there will be a wide-scale crypto adoption among institutions this year and beyond. So we have just seen that there are a lot of positive things happening for cryptos. And this is why I believe that despite the ongoing volatility, Dogecoin is going to trade higher in the medium to long term. In any case, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think Dogecoin is going to move to the upside from here? Let me know in the comment section below.